and I don't think I've talked about this on the weekly update before, but I think it's worth talking about with you now. You know, Judicial Watch went to the FBI in 2016 with information that we uncovered that suggested the Russians had compromised her server. Our, our, uh, we had hired someone to investigate whether the Clinton emails were on the dark web, basically a publicly available part of the internet that you normally don't access. Uh, and we found the following, the vendor found the following that we used. Uh, it was likely the, Blum well, we kind of know Blumenthal's emails were hacked. And indirectly, Hillary's emails were hacked because Blumenthal was in regular communication, including with classified information with Blumenthal. And secondly, we found a document uh, that looked to be classified. It wasn't marked classified, but we're not, we don't, can't classify documents, but it looked pretty sensitive, that looked like it came from Clinton's server. And uh, it was partly in Russian. It had to do with terrorism. And the indications were, uh, therefore, that that document had been hacked from her server. Now, we went to the FBI. Our guy met with them for four hours. The meeting initially was set up through, guess who? Peter Strzok. Now, Strzok wasn't at the meeting, interestingly, even though he set up the meeting. He sent two of his underlings there. And they never did anything with that information. They never did anything with that information. We know it happened just a few weeks before James Comey's email press conference, where he exonerated or said Hillary shouldn't be prosecuted. And given the volume of information we shared with the FBI, we knew there was no way they had fairly evaluated that before uh, Comey's press conference. So Judicial Watch had alerted the FBI to a potential breach of Hillary Clinton's servers by it looks like Russian interest in 2016. They never did anything with it. 